the Geneva Bible underscores God's profound mercy towards humanity, prominently manifested in Jesus Christ, whose righteousness becomes accessible to individuals through faith. This theological perspective acknowledges the inherent inability of humans to adhere to God's law due to their intrinsic corruption and severe transgressions against both divine statutes and natural order. In light of these shortcomings, God, in His infinite generosity and in fulfillment of His covenant with Abraham, ordained that salvation should be exclusively anchored in the perfect obedience of His Son, Jesus Christ. This divine arrangement ensures that salvation is not confined to the circumcised Jews, but is also extended to the uncircumcised Gentiles, thus universalizing the promise made to Abraham. Also, the narrative delineates the concept of spiritual lineage, clarifying that not all biological descendants of Abraham are part of the covenant. Instead, the covenant's beneficiaries include those who, irrespective of ethnic background, are integrated into this lineage through faith akin to Abraham's own faith-based righteousness. This spiritual adoption transcends genetic ancestry, signifying that God's selection for salvation hinges on His sovereign will and mercy rather than human lineage or merit. Moreover, the text presents a balanced view to prevent excessive despair among Jews or undue arrogance among Gentiles. It references Elijah's story to illustrate God's preservation of a faithful subset within Abraham's natural lineage a divine action often imperceptible to human observation. Moreover, the current preferential status of Gentiles is portrayed as a manifestation of God's vast mercy, with a prophetic outlook towards a future harmonization and collective integration of both Jews and Gentiles within God's Church. Furthermore, the foundation of faith and doctrine thus established, the Geneva Bible transitions to practical Christian living. It advocates for a life characterized by integrity, patience, humility, authority respect, and a Christ-like love for others. Believers are encouraged to renounce their former selves and embrace a life mirroring Christ's virtues, showing tolerance and love in emulation of Christ's example. The Apostle Paul concludes with commendations for fellow believers, exhortations for unity, vigilance against false teachings, and a concluding prayer for the faithful community.